Hey everyone, it's your soul. So there's an update here on Jeffrey Epstein and who his money is going to be going to. And I found this to take me on a particularly interesting rabbit hole <laughs> journey. So I don't know really whether there's anything to what I'm going to highlight here, but it's definitely worth looking at. So if you read this piece on the Daily Beast, and I'm sure it's covered in other news sources as well, it talks about his money, basically most of it being given to this so-called mysterious 1953 trust. And it's not explained in here what that is, and I don't think they actually know. So basically a trust, as I understand it, usually is a kind of entity that's used to store wealth that's then managed by probably more than one person for a certain purpose, maybe a mission statement or whatever it is that might take any length of time to achieve. It could be anything. It could be look after cat, homeless cats through to organise the world revolution or anything, really. Um, and we don't have a description of what it is. Now, the fact that it's called the 1953 Trust, to me, suggests that if you knew what the trust was, then you might question it. So it probably has that name in order to keep its function secret, I would suggest. Now, rather than going and looking at what happened in 1953 and all that kind of stuff, maybe that is worth looking into. Um, what I thought, my very first thought was, ah, oh, Gematria, or Gematria, however you want to pronounce it, the ancient method of converting letters into numbers and vice versa. Uh, being as Epstein was Jewish and this is a form of encoding which is very common in Jewish books and in fact the whole Hebrew language can be encoded using numbers. It just seemed to make sense to me. Also the fact that he's claimed to have secret service connections and I know that they seem to be interested in these things as well. So that was the first thought I had. Then it also mentions in here about Bill Gates and basically saying uh, that, let's read this, Jeffrey Epstein signed his will and testament just two days before he killed himself, which in itself is a bit questionable, unless he definitely knew he was going to kill himself, naming as his backup executor a former advisor to Bill Gates who doesn't even want the job. Epstein's longtime lawyers Darren K. Indyke and Richard D. Kahn were named as primary executors of the estate, but the document shows that the disgraced money manager also selected an alternate executor in the event that Indyke and Kahn can't carry out their duties. Boris Nikolic, an immunologist and biotech entrepreneur, who was reportedly shocked to learn that he was listed in the will, which dictates that all of Epstein's personal property should go to the trustees of a mysterious entity called the 1953 Trust. Quoted as... I was not consulted in these matters and I have no intent to fulfil these duties whatsoever, he said in a statement obtained by Bloomberg. Nikolic, who studied and worked at Harvard, was the chief scientific advisor to Microsoft founder Gates and his foundation. He is currently the managing partner of Biomatics Capital. Nikolic's spokeswoman told Bloomberg that Epstein was not an investor in any of his ventures and that the extent of their relationship was not completely clear. But Epstein cultivated ties with scientists and CNBC reported last week that he met Gates at least once in 2013. Well, he was on his flight, according to the flight logs. Um, so there's quite a lot to say here, right? So uh, just, just so we know, just so we're clear, it says here that um, basically probably most of that half a billion dollars worth of wealth is going to be going into this trust. So first of all, just to refresh your memory in case you missed it, I actually ran a story very quickly after Epstein died and after the documents were released about Epstein's case that showed that Bill Gates had been on one of Epstein's flights in 2013. I showed that I already knew from memory that in 2013, Bill Gates's quote, personal engineer was arrested at one of Bill Gates's mansions for possession of 6,000 plus images of child abuse and rape. And as far as I know, that case, I don't even know what happened with that. I think it just seemed to, seemed to vanish. There was no more reporting on it. No one really needs to look into that. Um, it was covered even here in the Daily Mail. Engineer employed at Bill Gates's mansion, traded 6,000 child porn images using Gmail. Rick Allen Jones, 51 of Seattle. Now, as I said, I never heard what happened to this guy. The story just basically, um, I mean, it says here, Jones has not been jailed, but was ordered to stay away from children. So he's due to appear in court in coming days. And there's no further story on that. So I don't know what happened when he went back to court. Never heard anything about it. If anybody can look that up, that would be very helpful. As we can see here, Gates flew with Epstein on the Lolita Express in 2013. The same year that this guy was arrested at Gates' mansion for 6,000 child pornography images. 
Now, obviously, Gates is an engineer. This other guy was an engineer. I'm sure they would have known each other having an engineer at his house. Obviously, they would have known each other. So what are the chances of somebody in Gates's position or anyone's position in the same year being so close to two people involved in industrial scale child abuse? I would say not very high unless there's something more to it. So the fact that this guy has named, that Epstein has named this guy who's also very close to Gates as the primary or at least one of the likely executors of the will, I would say is important. And he's distancing himself from Epstein. You know, I don't, I can't speak to exactly what's going on there, but it's entirely possible that he would have executed it had it not have been the case that Epstein was in so much trouble. Publicly, let's say. But coming back to the 1953, this is what I want to look at. This is just another freaky connection here. And you can say it's coincidence and irrelevant if you want, but I'm going to show you anyway. So gematria is a process whereby you take letters of the English language and you convert them into numbers. And there are various different ways of doing that. This site, Gematronator, has lots of different ciphers on it. Um, you've got these various English ordinal for reduction, these different methods of sort of numerological analysis. As you can see, you've got Francis Bacon on here. Apparently he was into that kind of stuff. Um, and there's always inversions. There's a satanic one, there's Jewish, Kabbalah, mathematical, and so on. Greek, Hebrew. There's too many on here for me to sit here and go through all of them. Um, prime numbers is a key point. So I'm just going to add in here um, the primes because I found that to be relevant. So if we come down to the prime numbers, 1953, what do we get? Well, 19 is a prime number. 53 is a prime number. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe there's something to this because there aren't many prime numbers. Uh, but that translates to H and P. Now, to me, that says Hewlett Packard, but I don't know what else it says. I don't, I'm not suggesting Hewlett Packard are connected to this in any way, but it doesn't nothing else jumps to my mind meaning hp maybe someone else might come up with a name that connects to that i'm personally not thinking of anything but what did jump out to me is if in the normal english ordinal a is one so 1953 one a nine i a i e is five c is three You've got AI and then EC, Artificial Intelligence, EC. Well, his modelling agency was called MC2, as in MC squared, and then it was joked about how that name was arisen because it was E equals MC squared and Epstein was the E. So MC squared referred to, you know, it was sort of in joke, apparently. So we've got these letters again, EC. Now, C is light and E is energy, or Epstein. And he was into eugenics and uh, technocracy and the concept of he wanted his body frozen and basically he was into AI and he, I think he must have thought that he could be inserted into a cyborg and come back if he died. So EC is light energy. So AI, light energy. Well, that literally is a description of moving a soul into an artificial intelligence cyborg. So it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest that he had left his money to a trust designed to develop artificial intelligence and potentially bring him back from his frozen body. That's exactly what I would expect him to do with his money. So I find that extremely interesting. I also found that if you put it into full reduction, a different form of analysis of gematria, that you once again get one is A, nine is I, in this case, 5 is N and 3 is L. So A-I-N-L. So I thought, well, what's A-I-N-L? I can't think of anything off the top of my head that that actually is. I mean, AI could be artificial intelligence. Maybe NL is Holland, Netherlands. So I typed into DuckDuckGo to see what came up. And right away, it's artificial intelligence and natural language. And there's conferences. There's It's a whole field, basically, of study. So it could be that he's leading his money to that. However, I then found if you turn off uh, filtering out adult content in here, anal also is literally anal, A-I-N-L, and anal porn videos uh, and all this anal teen porn stuff comes up. So, you know, I, <laughs> I doubt that this is really a connection to anything to do with anal sex, but I just found it a strange synchronicity that this should happen to basically link together. Those numbers should happen to link together the two primary things that we know about him in the, his connection to, um, 
you know, sex and, and so on. And I mean, it happens to have brought up here teen sex and basically AI and um, cyborgization. So, you know, personally, I would, wouldn't would really focus on the porn aspect to it, but I do find this EC AI thing to be relevant and definitely something to pay attention to. And yeah, I would not be even remotely surprised if it turned out that the trust that he had left his money to was intended to develop technology that might bring him back at some point in the future. So yeah, let me know what you think about all of that. It's pretty interesting. And uh, if you've got any comments, let us know. Definitely do upvote, subscribe, follow, share, pass on. And uh, if you find this helpful, and uh, maybe we'll get to the uh, truth of all of this in time. Until next time, peace.